You've talked before about how you decided to get into this. You were, you founded, you know, co-founded uh, uh, PayPal. Um, you don't really, I mean, you have a physics degree. You know something about about you know the underlying mechanics, but you didn't have any space experience. Right. You decided, I think, on a train to go to Mars, and decided that you could outcompete NASA, or that you could get to Mars, you could get to space faster, cheaper, better than the one of the largest, well, the largest space agency in the world. How did you get that confidence? Uh, so, <laughs> uh, well, I think first of all, I should say uh, maybe give some of a preface to um, what happened before starting SpaceX. Um, in, in fact, uh, the way I sort of got into space was um, to do. St I, 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 I was really disappointed that we had not sent anyone to Mars, that we had not progressed beyond Apollo, um, and I kept waiting for when we would, and it just didn't happen uh, year after year. And, and so a, a friend of mine asked me about what I wanted to do after PayPal, and I said, well, you know, I was always curious about space, but I didn't think about that there was anything I could do, do in space. And I went to the NASA website to just see when are we going to Mars, and I couldn't find, find that out. I, I thought maybe I could, it was there, but I, well, hidden or something, but... Um, so, so so th then I thought, well, perhaps this is a question of, of will. Is there sufficient will to do this? And, and the first idea I came up with was actually to do a philanthropic mission to send a small greenhouse to the surface of Mars with seeds and dehydrated gel that would hydrate upon landing, and you'd have this cool greenhouse with these green plants on a red background. That would be the money shot. And, and then, uh, you know, people like precedents and superlatives. So it would be the first, the first uh, life on another planet, furthest that life's ever traveled, and, uh, and that would get people excited. And you also learn about, a lot about what it took to support Earth, lands, Earth plants in a greenhouse on Mars. Um, the, the, the whole purpose of that was to get people excited about sending people to Mars and increase NASA's budget. So that was my whole goal. I was going to basically torch yeah, it was not, had nothing to do with competing with NASA. In fact, my goal was to increase their budget. <laughs> um, and, uh, and, and I should say that today, NASA is our biggest customer. Um, I mean, um, we've, we've got almost 50 launches, and uh, about a quarter of those are for NASA. But three quarters, three quarters commercial, but one quarter NASA. Um, and. Uh, NASA has been incredibly supportive and helpful, and we wouldn't be where we are today without without the help of NASA. So it's not it's got really got nothing to do with competing with NASA. It's really just about what do we need to do to have an exciting, inspiring future in space. That that's that's what I think really matters.